Hello, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to present to you guys our views and thoughts on Mr. Carnado's business, uh, Treeline Food Products, and specifically the coffee branch. And at the end, we're going to be giving our suggestions and what we think can improve his business as a whole. So first of all, um, on top of the information Mr. Carnado gave us a couple weeks ago regarding the coffee industry in Singapore, there are some extra information that we found through our research that we think is extremely essential to how we understand how the market <coughs> operates as a whole. So 70% of coffee in Singapore uses Singapore coffee, which kind of shows how uh, the people in Singapore like to use their local coffee, so their uh, local culture. And there is a Singapore Coffee Association in Singapore with established coffee businesses such as Starbucks, uh, Coffee Bean, and some startups uh, like Treeline, also part of it. So there is a community already established in Singapore regarding coffee. And Hawker Market coffee shops have a yearly uh, uh, growth rate of 7%, which shows how there is potential in the Singapore market for coffee. And there is already a culture for uh, Singaporean coffee, as many of you guys might know, that is dominant <coughs> hawker stores and many of the stores such as Kofi, Kofi, and Kofi C that you guys might see people drinking in those plastic bags. There's <coughs> some um, extensive amount of research on single origin coffee. We found some of the most interesting facts about it. First off, we um, found out that direct trade obviously increases the quality of the coffee beans. Second of all, some of the most famous um, coffee bean products are indeed less than $10, which, as we all know, tree line products are well over $10. And something to keep in mind is the competitors in Singapore, such as um, cafe like uh, Lamia from Belsu Road, Nalan, and Highlander Coffee. So, well, why is this so important? Um, this is important because Treeline can base their guideline on upon these competitors and build their um, business model better and more successful than their than theirs. So, how does Treeline compare to other companies in Singapore? Throughout all of our research and interviews, we've found that there are actually quite a few uh, companies within Singapore that are Singapore-based that import coffee from South America and through the rest of the world. And these two biggest um, companies being called Perth and Cafe Culture. Um, with Perth, um, they don't just uh, have coffee from Guatemala, Guatemala. They actually have import their coffee from several com several countries within South America, Central America, and also from the city of Kona on Kauai. Not only do they import from all these other countries, but they also, you can choose how you want your country, how you want your coffee roasted, and they also guarantee to get your coffee from any other destinations throughout the world to your doorstep within 48 hours. The second company in Singapore is called um, Cafe, Cafe Culture, and they are the biggest roastery in Singapore and have been for the past eight years. Um, the thing with Cafe Culture, they aren't really trying to reach for the personal market where they're basically serving each per like a personal need. They're in the market for going for companies and for large restaurants and chains. Um, and what makes them very, very um, unique is that they'll customize your coffee very uniquely to whatever the, the buyers desire. And after speaking with the owner of restaurant Original Sin, uh, who uses Cafe, Cafe Culture, he says that it's amazing to have, um, to be able to work with a company where they can produce, produce the results that he wants and make an already unique restaurant even more unique. Um, so of course, no company is perfect. So um, we just wanted to point out some flaws that we kind of found when we heard about your value proposition. So first of all, is there is a lot of competition in Singapore. Um, according to our understanding, uh, you might have thought that this idea of a single origin coffee from South America was kind of unique, but as Ryan said, it actually isn't with multiple uh, companies having the same idea and a lot of competition. And uh, our research also found that the Singaporean culture regarding coffee is vastly different with gourmet coffee in South America, where people don't, people want more local and cheaper coffee rather than gourmet expensive coffee, which might be problematic. And uh, third is customer segment, which where um, for any startup, you should have to be able to 
find your customer segment, which is the base market people for, that you want to present your idea to and that you want them to buy your product. And if you don't find your customer segment, it's really hard to base your advertisement, your selling, um, how you sell your products and your product itself. And advertising is also really important because I don't think many people know of your product right now. You might have that blog post, but I think it's really essential to have an app or a website so people can have more knowledge and you can spread the word about your business so when it does come out later on this week, people will want to try your products or buy your products. You just it's press the button. So some of the responses for the product we had from interviews are 90% um, of the people that we interviewed actually didn't, like, they wouldn't consider the product. And um, out of those 90% of the people, luckily, 44 suggested that they would buy the product in a certain circumstance. Uh, such could be seen in uh, offices. One of my interviews said that uh, his office has a coffee grinder, so your beans could be a uh, potential for his office. And uh, one of the people that we interviewed had, uh, happened to be a restaurant manager and he said that he could uh, see uh, your product in his restaurant to make it more unique. And also in cafes or sandwich shop, sandwich shops in Singapore could be a good way to get your coffee and bean product out there for uh, lunch breaks and uh, maybe a snack for people who work in the office. And from extensive research, we found that advertisement is a Advertisement, advertising is a key to uh, starting up a business, and such advertisement can be social media, sponsoring people in groups, and videos and commercials such as YouTube channels could be a, a useful way, and physical advertisement such as um, building uh, posters or on the billboard in the public, and also an interactive website is crucial to the process where starting up a business. And as I said, social media is key into today's world because uh, the preferred uh, channel for communicating <coughs> with, biz uh, with businesses for young uh, adults is social media. And 90% of the adults nowadays, ages from 18 to 40, use social media. And the number of worldwide social media users are expected to reach 2.5 billion by 2018. And uh, 52 uh, of online adults now use two or more social me uh, media accounts. So it is uh, likely for um, social media users to uh, end up finding your product in a way. And 94% of CEOs and vice presidents said that um, they use social media to help make pur uh, purchasing decisions in their uh, company. And 84% um, uh, of CEOs and vice presidents say that uh, social media is uh, helping to make their purchases purchasing decisions, like I said before, and um, uh, and then um, it also said that um, they they have an extensive YouTube video that a uh, YouTube channel that they use uh, to help um, get their product and ideas to the customers. And forty eight percent of business to business marketers are not sure uh, whether social uh, media channels have. Um, Generated revenue for the businesses. However, um, customers say that uh, social media plays almost as big as a role in uh, advertising as uh, television. So, what are some of the ways that Sri Lanka can use some of the marketing strategies? Well, as Kyo and Casey said, they should um, target their own audiences, specific audiences. For example, if they use this method, they will not only be able to um, focus on a specific amount of people, but also they will be able to um, reach out to them in a specific and an ordinary way. So, and second, um, they should measure and track their own advertisement. Know when to advertise and show up in the right place at the right time. For example, the perfect example would be the coffee festival that's held annually in Singapore. There's a lot of uh, sponsors <laughs> attending to it. And I'll go into depth about it in the next slide. And the last but not least, um, they should implement some promotional marketing.
So what are some of the ways that Treeline can sell their product? Well, most common and most stable way is to use the online market, such as um, Carousel, Q10, and eBay Singapore, which are the top three used, commonly used um, websites for Singapore. And there is online auctioning, but we do not recommend this. Good? Oh, yes. All right, thank you guys. Next up, thank you guys, appreciate it. Next up we have Avanav, Arjun, James, Okay, boys. Okay, so you'll be on my side and you'll be on my side. All right, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Mr. Coronado. In this presentation, we will be giving our thoughts and, uh, on this uh, business as well as offering some suggestions for you. In Singapore, um, the, co the coffee market is uh, 36 highest consumption rate per capita, and this means there's 1.62 million coffee drinkers in Singapore, and it is an increasing market. Just click, click the button. For some yeah. reason, that clicker's not working. It's stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. Stop it. <laughs> 